Over the past five years in Canada, a staggering $15 billion was wasted on prescription drugs. To get this number, the fifth estate enlisted the help of Express Scripts Canada, one of Canada's top drug research companies. Express Scripts Canada, we process millions of prescription drug claims for group insurance companies. And this allows us to access um, claiming patterns and drug utilization for millions of Canadians. And we use this information and these insights to look for solutions to drive um, better health outcomes and, and uh, more optimal use of the drug benefit. They took data from prescription drug claims over the past five years, between January 2011 and December 2015, and looked at different factors to determine where money could have been saved. In putting together our, our research, uh, first and foremost, we, we approach things from a clinical perspective. So our team of clinical pharmacists reviews drugs to identify which medications have lower cost, clinically sound alternatives available to them. Once that has been identified from a clinical perspective, then we look at uh, claiming patterns to determine are people truly taking advantage of these lower cost, clinically effective alternatives. And this is where we've discovered that in many cases, patients are not doing so. So uh, the difference between the, the, the cost of the medication that they're using today versus potentially what they could be using has been deemed waste. The majority of the $15 billion waste came from what they call uninformed patient decisions when it comes to pharmacy choices and drug choices. For example, in the treatment of high cholesterol, the brand Lipitor costs more than $230 for a 90-day supply, while the generic Lipitor costs just over $40 for the same 90-day supply. Another way Express Scripts Canada calculated that $15 billion in waste is in pharmacy choices. Your doctor may have prescribed you a 90-day supply of a medication, and your pharmacy gives you just a 30-day supply with two refills. That means you'll end up paying a dispensing fee three times, once for each 30-day supply instead of once for the 90-day supply. So how do we cut down on this waste? Education. When we provide information to both patients and physicians, we've found that we can reduce unnecessary spend. Uh, patients and physicians um, do take advantage of lower cost clinically effective medications when they're made aware of the options that are available to them and the cost variances and ranges that happen within clinically effective medication. For more on the price of prescription drugs in Canada, watch Canada's Drug Problem.